Hello guys and welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer tutorial videos. Um, in this one I'm going to be covering and kind of trying to go over as best as I can and as clearly as I can how I put together the Arduino MIDI to CV converter circuit. If there's anything that I don't quite explain you don't understand please leave a question in the comment section and I will try and tackle that as best as I can. Now I wasn't the actual coder of the Arduino sketch nor was I the guy who designed this circuit so just to make that clear to everybody before I kick off proceedings. Um, there's a guy called El Kayema. I bumped into his um, sketch and all, he, all he, he basically the whole circuit set up by searching through electro music forums. I was just trying to google MIDI to CV circuit and find something different which wasn't just um, MIDI to CV and gate. So as we can see here we've got quite a few um, control voltage outs on this one. We've got pitch bend, we've got control and we've got note and we've actually got velocity as well as well as a clock a clock out and a trigger out which I think is something like a uh, a 5 is it a 5? Not a 5 millisecond, sort of like a 20 millisecond pulse which you can actually probably send to another instrument, maybe like a drum machine or something, which will track, hopefully, if I can get this one working, we'll, I can try and prove that it actually tracks the tempo sent out from your door or other MIDI type source. And we've also got the gate out, as we can see here. Now, this one has a lot better advantages over the first one that I put together. Uh, the first one the gate wouldn't hold properly, I had to reset it a lot of times and also you only had about a 5 volt range from the DAC. I suppose I could have played with that one and tried to uh, do what I first had in mind which was actually try to actually bring up the actual control voltage amount as is done here because these DACs they only supply say about 5 volts and they're bumped up to supply 7.2 Two five volts on the output of the note CV for the pitch bend. I think we get about 0 0.4 volts or sorry, 4 volts, 0 0.4 or 0 to 4 volts. Sorry, correct myself there. And yeah, it's uh, it's really really coming together well. Now, here is the actual board. As we can see, this is my few modifications here. I've had to put some trimmers here, uh, I've put a trimmer in the place of the 3.3k and the 4.7k just to make sure I could trim that as accurately to one volt per octave as I could and we get about seven um, seven octaves nice and accurate in the place of the LM324 I've used two LM358s I did have a TL074 in place and on further advice from the guy who designed this uh, circuit he recommended that I use a, a, a single supply op amp. I'm not quite sure the technical reason why, but it's something to do with it hitting ground better, etc. Anyway, story for another day. Uh, so yeah, so here's basically we just have a quick scan over the board. We've got an Arduino, which is the Arduino Uno. We can use any, pretty much any um, Arduino, as long as we've got all these digital PWM pins here as we're going to use the receive side which takes the MIDI in from the opto isolator and we've got this here which is a gate out and we have a few more where the clock and the trigger go and then we've got these ones which supply the two DACs which are the MCP 4822's which is a dual, these are dual channel um, DACs and they're quite cheap to get, I mean I, I bought a couple for under to you know under 10 UK pounds uh, you're going to need a couple of decoupling stroke stabilizing capacitors value of a hundred nanofarads and get yourself some trimmers again the choice of opto coupler is not too too important as long as it's a low powered one something which is kind of compatible with six the 138 or 136 again have a Google around and see what you could use which is compatible uh, we've got a signal diode there which we put between pin 2 and 3 and I'm supplying the op amp and the voltage into the Arduino with a 12 volt regulator though you can use a 9 volt regulator and it still works all the same so 
so yeah as you can see there is not many parts that you use to this and obviously a 5 pin DIN MIDI socket to take our MIDI in cable from our external MIDI instrument or we can send this straight from a straight out from a computer from a door um, right let's just have a look at the modifications that I've done on the pitch bend I've put 100k trimmer in place as when I first had the pitch bend set up I couldn't get it to work and I kind of had to think in my head how am I going to get this to work properly it, as it is it just wouldn't so I put a, a resistor in place can't remember the value and it began to work but the actual pitch bend amount didn't quite line up so what I did was use a known source where you know we ha I had one octave apart and I had to use a trimmer and I tuned it so we've got one volt sorry one octave plus pitch bending up and we've got one octave minus pitch bending down exactly so it's somewhere around about 50k it's not quite I mean the only kind of trimmers I could get my hands on were 50k to 100 so I'm not quite sure the actual resistance value it's probably something borderline just over 50k so 100 100k easily covers that and we you just trim that to uh, trim that to the correct octave reference same thing going with here on the note CV rather than using the 3.3k trimmer and the 4.7k I've just literally tied two up with a 10k trimmer and we get that can tune that to as accurate as possible so we've got one volt per octave however your expo converter must be tuned and calibrated to one volt per octave or this is not going to quite work properly velocity uh, again if we take that velocity straight out that again this didn't work for me what I had to do again was put a resistor in place and I fed that into the, um, the control voltage input point of the VCA which is based on the Oberheim SEM VCA however I'm using a different OTA which is the LM13700 a dual VCA uh, sorry a dual operational transconductant amplifier and what I had to do in the end as I couldn't quite get the VCA to shut off when I fed it the fed the uh, the control voltage input point directly is have a route around on the internet and I bumped into a thread on the Moog forum and somebody mentions something very similar about um, getting the note velocity velocity to work and somebody suggested using a dual VCA so boom bingo I have an LM 13700 with a spare side which is exactly identical on each side if we go parallel across the pins are exactly identical apart from the plus and minus rail of course again look up the data sheet for that one so what I have is the audio is connected in series so we feed the first VCA with the audio and send that round to the second VCA and then the output comes from the second VCA first VCA re re um, receives the velocity CV and the second VCA receives the envelope CV so this one deals with loudness and this side deals with the contour and I got it to silence as it should I responded to the uh, to the velocity CV but again I had to use a trimmer to get that to tweak that to taste so when I sort of drew the velocity values in via the sequencer at 100 sort of 127 in maximum loudness and brought it down as far as I could about sort of around about 10 and it was very quiet so I tweaked that so we get it responding nicely I'm yet to still sort of work out what the control side does and how I can get this the clock and trigger to see if they're working properly so I will visit in the future and let you guys know how I get on so yeah so if we just quickly go over the bill of materials again an Arduino Uno or I should I just say an Arduino with these these um, relevant PWM points a voltage regulator not necessarily but I personally would kind of recommend 
a voltage regulator so we can either use 9 volts or a 12 volt regulator depending on your power supply remember that your voltage regulator needs to be um, lower than your source by about 2 volts lower than your source voltage so say for instance I've got 15 volts coming in so I'm stepping it down to 12 so if we've got say about 12 you want to use a 9 volt regulator and we don't need bipolar power for this by the way because it's just a single single supply as we can see the brown cables is all the earth connections ground 0 volts and we've got the hot, uh, the plus 12 connections on the orange oranges here so I've kind of color coded that so for troubleshooting I can just go boom straight in I know what I know what's happening and just some ceramic decoupling capacitors on the DACs some trimmers we can go for these type of trimmers or we can go for more precision sort of multi-turn bonds or are they called chemet cement cement whatever anyway I'm sure you go guys know what I'm talking about uh, kind of trimmers for more precision which I've done for the note CV particularly not too fussed about these are uh, the velocity and the um, I've completely forgotten it mind blank the velocity and the pitch bend CV and our single supply dual well we need a quad op we need four op amps so we've got two inside each of these are dual inline packages and yeah that's all there is to it at the moment so in in the next video what I will be going through is a I'll be doing a probably try and do an audio demo so I'll show you how it responds sequenced from a door which I'm going to use Cubase and I'm going to try and show you exactly what points on the, my actual synthesizer we need to um, inject the control voltages to. Right, thank you for watching this part and uh, I hope everyone's had a sort of good Christmas stroke holiday or whatever you celebrate period and I'll catch you all very soon. Alright, nice and easy does it.